You know what it is, man. Another vid, another reaction. Got top 10 Call of Duty multiplayer maps. I bet want to do this one. I bet you Newtown is number one. Or it has to be top three. <laughs> There's a fuck ton of maps. So I already know that some of the maps is not even going to be in top three. But um, yeah, man, like, comment, share, subscribe. Road to a billion. They certainly made some great ones over the years. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Call of Duty multiplayer maps. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at what we consider to be the greatest Call of Duty maps of all time. That's definitely we'll be including any and all maps. maps from the entire Call of Duty series, right. excluding zombie maps, of course, because we got another list for that. Enemy UAV is airborne! Number 10, Summit, Call of Duty Black Ops. They put this in GO3. Oh, it's high. Right. Mm. After franchise fatigue was beginning to set in, Black Ops brought the series it's back to the It's too damn sweaty. Everybody know the map. Some of the most memorable maps of the entire series. Summit, which took place at a research facility perched cool. atop a mountain, was certainly one of those maps. The snowy environment was a breath of fresh air after the numerous rubble-ridden cities of previous games. The map also featured a ton of strategic pathways and hidey holes, and a large variety of buildings, including the large one in the middle, which most inevitably hosts most of the action. Number 9, Crossfire, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Download the Domino's app today and ads, man. some high rewards. Remember to earn points toward free pizza. Domino's is trash. I'm gonna be in that. Modern Warfare was absolutely riddled with classic maps. And one of the most I ain't gonna lie, they taste is nostalgic, bro. Domino's got nostalgic taste. I don't, I don't like them, though. There were a lot of buildings, which meant you could take the offensive by worming your way through them, picking off enemies with a shotgun along the way. There was also a wide open area sandwiched between two two-story buildings, which created tons of great sniper battles. Even if you were crap at sniping, though, you would undoubtedly give it a whirl on this map. Crossfire was a Call of Duty gem. Number eight, Raid. Call Raid. Of Duty no, Black Raid's Ops. top five. He got that one. Raid is a top five map. If you love your Call of Duty with a little more up-close and personal feels, then Raid is definitely a map for you. Whoa. Raid takes place at a mansion in the Hollywood Hills. And ah, it's everything that is chaotic and jumbled as it sounds. I wanna say, the map is largely based around close quarters combat. Could be, such, not my top like five, but it could be top five. Are definitely ideal. As a result of all that, there's always bound to be at least one great shootout per game on this map. Yeah. That said, it doesn't completely leave out snipers, as there are a few longer, more open areas for them to take advantage of, too. It's a hectic map, and it brings out the best in Call of Duty. Number seven, Firing Range, Call of Duty Black Ops. Mm -hmm. I like Firing Range. They got that on Black Ops 3, too. Another classic map from Black Ops is then they firing remade range, raid to fucking military firing range. The mansion this map shit. also favors more offensive and fast-paced gameplay, as it features a lot more close quarters areas, including the wooden house, where basically everything always goes to hell. Unlike Raid, long-ranged weapons are basically useless on this map due to its enclosed nature. However, that's not to say that it doesn't favor defensive strategies either. The tower in the middle makes for a great camping location, and Claymores can do a hell of a lot of damage on this map. Firing range has a little something for everybody, yeah, except maybe snipers. Mm. Number 6, Rust, Rust. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Rust has always been a fan favorite, and yeah. it's not hard to see. I don't like Rust, though. I think the map is oh, in the middle of the desert, like which it. makes for a pretty original setting. But it also allows for a wide variety of approaches. You can control the hotly contested view one. Right, I'm going to here. I'm going to do the other five. I can't wait to see. I bet you New Town's going to be. It might be number three, number one. It could be two, but I'm thinking number one or three. Like, come and share, subscribe, man. Roll to a billion.